Welcome to the fifth episode of Boozy by the Plaid Cook. Today we are making not one, not two, but three wing recipes for some drunken wings. These are vastly different recipes, which will be starting with the Bloody Mary wings, the Bourbon Honey Barbecue wings, and the Tequila Lime wings. All these recipes are really tasty, and my mouth is watering for some wings, so let's dive in. Let's start with the sauces we are going to be using for the wings. So first up is the Bloody Mary sauce. Get a small saucepan over medium-low heat and pour in one cup of tomato juice. Then grab a giant bottle of vodka from Costco that really doesn't fit in any cabinet easily. Seriously, it doesn't. Now you can use just about any vodka you want, but just note that you will be cooking out most of the alcohol and some of the flavor. So a cheap vodka is best for this. Pour in one ounce of vodka. Get it to a simmer and set a timer for 25 minutes to cook out the alcohol. Also with this sauce, you're probably going to want to stir it for the entire time while it's reducing, so your kitchen doesn't look like a blood spatter murder scene from the tomato juice bubbling. After the 25 minutes are up and your arms are buffed from all the stirring, mix together some cornstarch and water to form a slurry and add it into the sauce. Don't be afraid to use quite a bit of this as we do want a thick sauce to coat the wings. After it is thickened, turn off the heat and add in one quarter cup of tomato juice to bring back some of the tomato flavor. Then add in one half teaspoon of Tabasco, which you can add more if you want it hotter. Two teaspoons of horseradish, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one quarter tablespoon of celery salt, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of black pepper, and the juice from one half of a lemon, fresh of course. Mix everything with a whisk to combine and then pour into a bowl that you don't have the footage of because the camera decided that would not be a good shot to shoot. And there's your Bloody Mary wing sauce, which I'm going to set off to the side in preparation for the next sauce. Bourbon Honey Barbecue. Grab a small saucepan over medium heat and add in three ounces of tomato paste, one half teaspoon of smoked paprika, one half teaspoon of onion powder, and three quarters teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix everything in and let the spices and tomato paste glaze the bottom of the pan. Then grab your bourbon, which I'm using some Maker's Mark for. Add in one ounce of the bourbon and deglaze the bottom of the pan with it. Next up, add in two and a half ounces of apple cider vinegar to give the sauce that tangy flavor and mix it in. Then add in one and one half ounces of molasses, five tablespoons of honey, one and one half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, five tablespoons of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, and one quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then realize that you should have been using a whisk to mix this in all along and mix everything together. We are going to be simmering this sauce, so now would be a good time to put a lid on the top unless you want your whole kitchen to be covered in barbecue sauce. Set a timer for 25 minutes to let the sauce simmer, so the alcohol cooks out and all the spices get absorbed into the sauce. When the sauce is done simmering, give it a little mix to make sure everything is well incorporated. Then pour it into a bowl and try to resist sticking your finger into it for a taste because it smells so good. And there's the bourbon honey barbecue wing sauce. I just need to get this away from me before I eat all of it. And now we are moving on to our last sauce, tequila lime. Get another saucepan over low heat and grab your tequila bottle of choice. Gee, do you think I possibly shop at Costco a bit? Pour yourself a two-thirds cup of it and dump it into the pan. Then add in one teaspoon of ground cumin, one quarter teaspoon of ancho chili powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. Let everything simmer for 25 minutes to let the alcohol cook out and for the spices to get infused into the tequila. After the time is up, add in a cornstarch slurry, which you may need quite a bit of to thicken up the sauce. Then add in three tablespoons of blue agave syrup and one and a half cup of fresh lime juice. At this point, if you need to thicken up the sauce a little more, 
Don't be afraid to add in some more cornstarch slurry and heat it up a little bit. Let the sauce cool down and then add in two teaspoons of lime zest and mix to combine. Then pour into a bowl. And there's the tequila lime wing sauce. Now that we've got all of our sauces, let's talk chicken wings. We want crispy chicken wings to sauce up. And yes, the oven does get them crispy, but not as crispy as if they were fried. So if we are going to fry these, then you'll want to leave the chicken on a tray in the fridge overnight to dry it out and remove any moisture. Remember, water plus hot oil equals explosions and nasty burns. So get a cast iron pot and some neutral oil like canola oil for frying. Again, I might shop at Costco a bit. Heat the oil up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and use a spider to gently drop the chicken in. Cook them in batches to not overcrowd the pot for 4 to 5 minutes and then remove them and place them on a wire rack to drain. Then increase the temperature of the oil to 375 degrees and drop the chicken back in for another 2 minutes to give them that extra crispiness. Once you've got all the batches of chicken fried, it's time to sauce them up. Add in some of the Bloody Mary sauce, flip them around in the bowl to coat them completely, and place them nicely on a plate with all their saucy goodness to tempt you into making these. Let's do the same for the other two, starting with the Bourbon Honey Barbecue, which we will sauce, toss, and plate while drooling a little from the smell of these. Then lastly, there's the tequila lime, for which we will also sauce, toss, and plate that tequila limey goodness. And there you have it. Three vastly different wing recipes that are sure to be a hit at any party. I'm just going to give the Bloody Mary a taste, and oh, that is good. It tastes like I'm drinking a Bloody Mary in the morning, but instead, I'm eating it on chicken. Next up is the Bourbon Honey Barbecue which has all the best flavors that could be in a barbecue sauce with a twist of bourbon. And lastly, we've got the tequila lime wings, which are sweet and tangy with a good amount of tequila flavor. I'm just going to take my favorite one and run off with it like a wing star football game watching fan. But if you've enjoyed this video or liked the recipes, then consider giving it a like down below. Click that subscribe button if you haven't and leave me a comment about what you think of these recipes, and I'll see you in the next one.